It's freaking cool. Did I actually waste some out of them? So I've got one in the... No, good, so I can do that as many times as I want. That's all right. <laughs> nice. Nice. Hello everybody and welcome to Great Leveler Gaming. I am the Great Leveler and today we're back, as you can see, in Resident Evil Land. Very exciting to be here. Uh, hopefully the audio is going to be lined up properly because I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Obviously I'm apparently close to something I shouldn't be. Anyway, so excited to be here. Ethan is back. Now, if you remember, we replayed the original Resident Evil 7 on the original VR and now we're playing on the PSVR 2. And already this looks miles better, which I'm hoping for. Now, I've done an unboxing video of the PlayStation VR. Uh, a link to that is in the description, somewhere up there. Um, and I talked about doing this. Now, I've already played this game on the channel, so we're not going to do a complete playthrough like we did before. We're going to split it into probably six parts. We open it up until we get to Ca uh, Castle Domitresk. Castle Domitresk, each, basically each of the bosses and then the final boss. So should going to transplant into about six videos. We'll see how it pans out as it goes on. It's going to be trying to be highlights, but we'll see how I feel as it's going. If it ends up being like, you know what, this is awesome, or I'll cut anything out, it goes long longer. We'll see. Now then, because we have already played it. Oh, hang on a second. Ah. So what I was going to do is continue from uh, load at one of our old, old games and carry on with infinite ammo, you know, make it easier for myself because we've already done it, but it won't let me do that. I can only select new game. So, so unfortunately, I have to not do it how I wanted to. That's fine. Oh, I'm assuming this is a tutorial, yeah. Yeah, well, let's, let's, yeah, I was about to do that anyway. Oh, I hate snapping. Hang on a second, we're not having that. So because I sync up my camera audio with my game audio, when I switch to view mode to see my room, um, it unfortunately pauses and it unsyncs the audio. So I'm trying to avoid doing that where I can. Oh God, that is fast. I want to, want to grab with that. Okay, that's fine. Controls for the camera. Ugh. I'm gonna skip all this anyway. Oh, it's oh. Wow. Oh, that's freaking dope. Oh, okay, that's cool. Let's move on. Okay, that actually kind of makes sense now that the the this button is grabbed because then I've got my trigger. I can't even close one eye, just look at it, it's still it's freaking great. Grab the shotgun. Where's the shotty? Where's my shotty? Ah, there we go. Oh yes! Oh, it's under me. Oh, I manually do it. Oh dear. This isn't going to bode well. Oh! Oh crap. This is going to take some getting used to. I'm actually having to close one eye to get the aim.
Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, dudes. Is that what? It's gonna take some getting used to. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Keep it in the headset. Okay. That is awesome. Oh, yes. That's awesome. Okay, let's leave. Grab your jacket with R1 or R1. And grab a jacket. Am I? Am I being stupid here? R1. Oh, again, I don't know which one's on my R1 yet. <gasps> That's cool. That's f <gasps> and it just... It's one of the... I still don't quite get where I'm grabbing for this. Okay, now I get it. Got it, okay. I've got this, I've got this understood. Let's move on. I'm glad there was a tutorial. Why am I down here? So more into am I laying on the settee? That's really disorienting because I'm still up. So that feels... Holy crap, this looks so good. This looks miles better than she's asleep. anything I've ever played on VR before. Um, so as you notice, of course, no green screen behind me. That is because, um, simply, you know, I can't... I've got to keep a distance from the camera and sort of hit it and a whole other groups. It basically is easier. So I want to stand up. I don't need to stand up this game, but I want to stand up There's nothing game. wrong with my memory. It's just everything else. You're just being paranoid. Give me the baby. That's a cute little baby. This is your Ross. Come give me some control. To remember. I can't blame her. Look at the little fingers. Oh. Holy damn, though, this is so far. Looks, do you know what? Just as good. I, I've played only thing I've played so far on this uh, VR headset is Horizon Into the Wild, and in that I noticed that the draw distance didn't look great. It looked good, but it, the close-up detail is unmatched with anything I've ever played. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right down. I hate though. I don't have a body. That looks so bizarre. But I get it, because if I dropped it and then the arm kind of like go with red. There we go. Oh, a cute little bunny. I'm not used to these earphones yet. I don't tend to have earphones that go directly into my ear. It feels very bizarre to me. Is she but okay? We'll see how it gets on. Like a, well, like, well, like a baby. <gasps> oh my god, that looks so good. What's that? good. Oh, hands off, mister. Holy it's over de la room. crap. Wow, you've gone full. It actually looks better Look than the normal you. Although, to be fair, when I played the game, the reason I played on PlayStation 4. All evening. It happened so long ago. I I'm really gutted, though, that I can't. So no, I was going to. Yeah? I'm so gutted. Get down. Get down. That um, I can't bring my limited ammo, which is what I want to do. I, I can't do anything here. Yeah, that was hilarious in the main game. It's hilarious. Oh, can we move around a little bit? 
Uh, I've just noticed as well, I haven't put subtitles on. I apologise that we quickly not do that. Oh, here he comes. Oh, God. You'll not see me hidden here. Damn it, he found me. Ow. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? You are so what? cool. Holy Christ, this looks so freaking good. Hey, guys. I'm really pissed at you, but you look awesome. Go on, move! Oh, so there's two different types of cutscene. Because I it always annoyed me with the other cutscenes where it was like, like a scream. But I, I, and it was always looked really weird in VR, but this is that, that's why I can look around. That's so good, Ethan. No, so good. Oh, now I've got a body. <laughs> you guys look amazing as well, by the way. Oh, oh, my head's, my head's come off. Oh, look at me with all my digits. Who's that? No, no. We're going to be uh, Blair Witch fat slap to start with, and we're going to move tactical later. Freaking hell, this is so good. Because uh, don't, don't forget, when I played the last Resident Evil game on this channel, uh, it was um, it was still using the normal... Uh, pad where obviously with this one um, how do I... games have not told me how to duck thwarted oh <laughs> right stick uh, yeah obviously it was just the normal move controller so Amy was a pain because it was wherever I was looking and that was not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> it's it amazing, can I? Oh, I can! Boop! Boop, boop! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! <laughs> can I bump it and kill it? Put it out of misery! I cannot. Oh. And it's so intuitive as well. I'm turning and looking at the same time, so I'm moving my character whilst looking. It feels very organic. The only thing that I'm concerned about is these thumbsticks are very tiny, and I'm worried that uh, a sudden kind of movement might damage them, but... Oh, that's a shame I can't... Uh... What the hell? Look at the flashlight just floating. This is... Weird. I cannot wait for some later scenes. If you uh, if you followed any of my Resident Evil content, well, Resident Evil Seven content on the channel before, you'll know which my favourite scenes are from this game. So you'll know what I'm anticipating. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, sh this 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 is so amazing. This is amazing. Wow. Where the hell am I? Wow. This looks amazing. I mean, the distance, again, it's not quite as crisp as what I'm anticipating, but it also feels real. And the village itself and the snow. Oh. At the side, this is what, this is one of the things that you never really understand when you're watching somebody else playing VR, the sense of scale. I like that I don't have to open any doors. Uh, the sense of scale is unmatched. Ooh. Oh, that's a whole horse. Is that, was it that horse? Oh, I always wonder what that was. You know what, I'm actually surprised. I think because it looks so good as well, I'm actually not struggling as much as I am. Uh... So no, no knife, so sheath, now I've got a sheath. Shame I can't actually sheath stuff myself, it just drops and then appears, but 
I'll take it. Oops. There we go. But it's also cool that I can throw it. That isn't going to get old anytime soon. Did they just run out of the house? Ooh, ooh. See, I, I want to interact more. I don't want to just press X. I want to be the one that grasps. Yeah. No, no. Friendly. Help. Friendly. Who are you? Friendly. Who said that? Nobody. See, I want to be able to grab it. I don't want to press X. I want to grab his head and pull it. Wait, don't let me. Minor, minor complaint, wherever the camera might be. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Let us start. Jesus, this looks so freaking good. Everything looks so realistic. Too realistic. Oh, the chest. How good does the chest look with like the white uh, chest cap? Too close. The only problem with this, uh, I've noticed with these Resident Evil games, is it puts everything too close. Dead man walking is what that was. Come at me, bruh. <laughs> Deal with, dealt with worse than you. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. How do I check how much ammo I've got though? Again, too close. What the hell? So how do I check? Do I just just turn it that way to check? Oh, that's cool. But I want to be able to holster it myself. That's the only downside. Yeah, I wish I could play with unlimited ammo because I think that'd be a lot of fun just to go out. Ba -ba -ba -bang. But I understand that I can't. I'm just disappointed. It's <laughs> freaking cool. Uh, did I actually waste some hours though? So I've got one in the... No, good. So I can do that as many times as I want. That's all right. <laughs> nice. Nice. Can't wait. Oh, so pushing, pulling back on the D-pad turns me 180. Oh. That's really actually handy. Oh, I've got a map. How did I find that? That's handy. Survivors out there. Come to my house near the field. Survivors. The fact I've got like a limited throwing dice is absolutely incredible. And I'm absolutely going to utilize it. Okay. This is my boomstick. Jesus. Get off me, get off me, get off me. <laughs> I could really do with remembering how to heal up. No, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. That's definitely a fatal wound. Oh! Wow, okay. Oh, can't quite do the middle finger. I can do that. 
Every little thing is going to be. Oh, can't do it with this hand. Dudes, they are dangerous. Stop it. I've got this confused lap, thank you. Oh, sugar. Yeah, I'll take that, thanks. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Oh, you are significantly larger. This is a lot, this is a lot in VR, okay? This is, this is intense. Run. Right. Oh my God, the uh, adaptive feedback in the headset, I forgot about that, I felt that with him. Jesus. Christ, you can't feel it in your head. That is wild. <laughs> I thought I picked up more shotgun ammo. What happened? Ow. Dude. Is this the cutscene? I mean, this is the cutscene! Yay! Holy damn. This is wild. This is annoying, though. That keeps popping up. I don't want it. I've not moved that much. Again, I apologize if I'm not in frame, I don't know where I'm looking. <laughs> oh my god, you can feel it in the headset. That is wild. I really did think you were Heisenberg. I was kind of disappointed that you weren't. Wow! That's painful, by the way, that Jesus, wet! I did actually realize you were making. You shouldn't be out here. A symbol. You're not, safe. You're not actually making any marks, though. Not where you sit, really. Can you hear me? Uh, it's you, the child's father. That's me. Hey, Can't what, prove what it. You mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose, Rose, yes. God. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Something pops in front of me. Like you. Get up, get up. Jesus, that's close. I can't wait. I can't wait to get to Castle Down a Thrust, though. That's. Close the door. Yes. Please. That'll stop them. Jesus Christ. Christ, man, I said that was awful. Sure, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? That's so cool. We can even see the next one in the chamber. Oh! And they, they kept coming. Oh, that fire looks awesome. Where is your husband? Oh, I'm going to see a lot more of that in a bit, though. Did they? No. <laughs> what are you doing? Leonardo, yeah, the fire looks good. Oh. I love how he just went mm. Yes. No, let me go. Oh. That's so cool. I'm not going to waste my ammo because. Boomstick. Just they're still in the problem with VR, you get really close. This entire place is collapsing. They need to like yeah. develop something where there's like a little bit of distance, even though it might not naturally be that distant. Uh, there's a, a there's a, a shot from Encanto of what the shot looks like and how it actually looks, and her arms are like bizarrely long and weird. But it works because that's what they need to do. 
Right, am I in control again? Right, sweet. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. There's a giant here. Step back. We can bust out with this. Oh, cool. So the reflection doesn't actually reflect, but it kind of does as well. That's mad. Got any other mirrors? Yeah, they've got mirrors there. So like the the. Is up, baby. Uh, gents first, apparently. I'm not doing this. I just like to pretend that I'm doing it, but I'm not. Let's move. Come on. So, as you guys might notice, uh, different attire, different lighting. Uh, I started feeling a little bit dizzy about halfway through this next cutscene. I had to cut it and just turn it all off. So we'll just let this cutscene play out as it wants to do, and then we'll talk about it some more. Huzzah! So one of the things I kept noticing when I lean, the things go red, or the, the grids. Here's, you guys actually can't see that on the recording, because I went edited the first half, so... In reality, she would still be alive in such pain, like agonizing pain. She should just land on top of the car, in all honesty. I'm surprised that thing hasn't blown up. But hey, that's the story for another time. So, yeah, as this cutscene was going off, I really started to feel nauseous and dizzy, which I haven't felt um, sooner, which I was quite impressed with. Oh, let me just reset everything. I don't remember the gun being this high up, but it's actually a really nice high at that. Uh, so yeah, so basically I start to feel dizzy. Now that's actually not too bad. Because don't forget, I did the unboxing and played uh, Call of the Mountain for about 20 minutes or so. And then I've been playing this game for over an hour before any kind of dizziness or anything came. And I think it was because it was getting actually quite warm outside. I hadn't realized how much the sun was coming in. So over an hour and a half of gameplay. Now when I first played VR, I couldn't stand more than 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so obviously as time went on, I got better, withstood it a little bit better, but I haven't played VR properly in months. So uh, this is really, really good. So anyway, let's just get out of here. Uh, so we haven't got much further to go before we're gonna call into this video anyway. So I was really annoyed that I couldn't make any further, but I just couldn't do it. Oh God, this looks so good. Fuck is this happening again? That should absolutely kill my hand. Shit. Oh, I do actually turn it. That's cool. Yeah. Now I'm kind of hoping that when I put these pieces into the puzzle, I'll get to rotate them, but we'll see. I I'd be, I won't be surprised if I don't. Holy damn, I didn't actually realize how big that scarecrow was. That's ridiculously large. Anyways. Death has visited them all. I'm trying to pull the trigger. Can I shoot myself? Do I want to waste ammo on trying to shoot myself? Kind of. So let's uh, let's save it first because I don't want to waste ammo. And you know what? Sorry. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. No, I cannot shoot myself. But I'm going to shoot you. 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 And you... I'm going to gut you with this knife. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Anyway, but yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, my aim with the knife hasn't got much better. But that's still such a cool addition. Anyway, onto the puzzle. So will we get to interact with it in a really cool manner? This leads to the castle. Yes. Yes! Look how gently and tenderly he touches it. Just caressing. Oh. <clears throat> you know? There we go. Open sesame. Oh, another thing as well. I was really impressed with how tall that monster, that werewolf was. 
And so I don't think I kind of read, obviously I knew he was large, but obviously in the VR, how tall people, I mean, that looks huge. Everything about this looks huge. I just want to touch everything. Um, so I'm really intrigued to see how large Lady Demetrius is actually going to look whilst in the VR. Being chased by her is going to be really, really fun. All right, so let's get this section out of the way. Come at me, Heidenberg. Wow. Think anyone was left. Well, must be pretty tough. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. <laughs> Mother Miranda's gonna love you. <laughs> I kind of looks weird. Obviously, because the VR, uh, I can move around a lot more. So that makes it harder for developers to hide certain things. Where you whining? We're almost there. I'm not whining about you. Don't worry. <laughs> Ooh. Oh wow! You look so good. You look so. <laughs> oh, I didn't put subtitles on. I'm so sorry, guys. I will put them on for the next video. There's not much in it. Oh god, his coat is so good. Oh, wow. I know I'm on the floor. But she really is tall. Oh, I didn't actually. I thought her outfit looked kind of feathery. I didn't realize it was her feathers wrapped around her. Yep. In your. F god, that is a fat ass. And gentlemen. Dude. And now let the games begin. Come on, come on, blue eyes, so good. Oh, I never went a little dizzy, but not dizzy, but lost my balance. Still don't understand why it took me so long to jump down here, but run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, 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 rabbit, copyright claim. Hi. Oh, I didn't realize he actually broke the bridge. That makes a lot more sense because I just thought we fell off the bridge all this time. Oh, you're lucky if this happened. What would you be looking at otherwise? Huh. Sure, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, really, I could just stay in this little gap right here. I'm sure I'm fine, but hey, it's not risky. I mean, there's no cameras. How are you seeing any of this? I mean, that is so lucky. So lucky. All right, so guys, as we said, we, we've escaped. Uh, and we're now at the um, the Duke. Uh, see, these are more, oh, I was going to say reasonably sized scarecrows, but you're actual, you're actual people. That's, that's depressing. I'm depressed now. Let's end the video with depression. Jeez, thanks guys. Uh, so I'll tell you what, let's watch the Duke because then that should give us a save point. And uh, all's good. Oh, why went to this kind of cutscene? Oh, there we go. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of me. I am everyone. A hero wow, I don't think I knew he was fat, but I don't think I've heard how big he is. This ominous castle in the middle of nowhere. Oh, what are you on about? I am but a humble merchant. Oh, wow. Okay, so the shop looks cool. Please let me know if you'd like to strengthen your weapons. Extra baggage. How much have I got? 910. So I can't afford anything. Can I sell? 
Ah, I can. So the shop's really cool. I like that. Have a wonderful adventure. Oh, I will. I will. I will adventure. How much ammo have we got? 21 bullets. That's not too bad. Uh, so one thing I don't actually know is how, I mentioned it I think in the video, but it didn't make sense because I'm talking about it like you guys know a lot. The periphery of my vision, so I think I can see more, so I can still see the tops of my hands. I don't know what point though of the screen they come into view and same the side. So I don't know when looking down if you can see that and this as well as what I can. But, uh, so, uh, yeah, and I also notice, of course, as I'm moving forward, it goes blank on the outside. That's to help with the motion sickness. Uh, I can't, I might be able to turn it off, but then I might feel sick, so I'm not turning it off. So, I'm not really doing it. Here we are in Castle Dametresque, uh, which I now know how to pronounce. So, we're going to call and end this episode here. So, there we have it, guys. The end of the episode is finally. Here. I don't know how long it's run on for. Hopefully it's not been a stupidly long episode. Uh, but as I said, we're going to try and keep it into about six sections. We've had the intro and now we're going to have each of the houses and then the big lead up towards the finale. Just highlights. So if you want to see all the cutscenes and all the other stuff, I suggest you check out the cinematic playthrough we did. There's a link to that in the description down below and the card might pop up at some point during this video if I remember to put one in. So I, I hope you guys enjoy it. That's why we're doing it more fast paced because it's more just to show off how it feels in VR. And so far, fantastic is my verdict. It is freaking awesome. I really, really enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. We'll have more VR content coming to the channel now. Again, this is so much easier to set up than the PSVR one. So it's a lot much more fun and a lot easier for me to set it up and just play when I want rather than having to go through the whole rigmarole of getting everything set up. Now, as it is new tech to me, there might be some teething problems, uh, but we will persevere and hopefully this will be a really fun experience for everybody involved. So yeah, I'll see you all on the next episode, whatever it might be coming soon. Bye.